another one of my favorite series that I was following got axed. What's going on guys, boy Ooch? And uh, really quick, today's video, I should say, is sponsored in part by Imori. Normally I let the ad do its thing for itself, but I figured if I was uh, talking about it personally that you guys might actually listen a little bit better and not meme on me in my Discord. <laughs> but Imori is a Japanese and anime inspired clothing line that all the stuff that you're seeing on screen is made in-house and they have a lot more since I last updated this particular slide. So definitely check them out. And any purchase made with my code Uchi15 definitely helps the channel and myself. Okay, so let's get on with the depressing stuff. Before actually we get into the depressing stuff. I do want to talk a little bit about Spider-Man Fake Red to begin with. Spider-Man Fake Red is a manga created by Yusuke Osawa. Osawa-san literally took a concept that I don't think has ever been really introduced in a Spider-Man or a superhero kind of setting. And if it has, I'm, I'm definitely not aware of it. To me, it's very original. And basically it goes a little like this. High school outcast and Spider-Man fan Yu leads a life of unfulfilled expectations. But after finding the legendary web slinger suit in an alley, his life makes a big change. What could be lying in store for this aspiring young lad? So basically to expand upon this little synopsis a little further is Yu, which I think is actually a really solid nod towards a previous work that I don't believe was done by Yusuke Osawa. I'm pretty sure this was another artist who you're gonna be seeing on screen right now that did a Spider-Man manga back in the 90s because I will like to say at this point that this is not the first attempt for Spider-Man to be featured as a manga before. In fact, the last time we saw Spider-Man as a manga, it literally got around 30 chapters and change and was axed as soon as it was starting its next arc. The good thing about Fake Red is unfortunately, um, as it was getting axed, it kind of, its last chapter pretty much ended the arc in a very lighthearted way and it was very wholesome and it, it had a clear ending which unfortunately it sucks to say that Osawa-san literally had plans to continue it like any other manga. So the story of Yu, since I say it's a nod to the original because the original Japanese Spider-Man his name was Yu Kamori and I'm not talking I'm not even talking about 1978 Toei Studios Spider-Man I'm talking 1990s manga Yu Kamori a very dark and cold version of spider-man that i've literally never seen before there's a lot of awkward moments that i felt within that manga and it was it was definitely a very interesting take at the character and th that guy was definitely no peter parker you saw some very similar things at the beginning of that story but as it progressed you were kind of like, really like, what am I reading? Not to diverge too much onto that story, Fake Red introduces us to you who, like I mentioned, is a big fan of Spider-Man. And this does take place in New York City and not Japan, which I was kind of confused about when I was first reading it. But you come to find that this dude is another fan of Spider-Man living in New York City. And he stumbles upon an incident where his friend was actually kind of getting mugged and beat up. And when they left him, you was kind of struggling struggling with himself and saying like, what would Spider-Man do? And obviously Spider-Man would have saved the day and beat up those crooks, but because he's not actually Spider-Man, there was a layer of realism that was introduced really early on in the story. And so you, of course, kind of held back. And when he saw that his friend came out of that alley, he was like, I'm sorry that I couldn't help you. Like I really wanted to, but, and his friend was like, it's okay, I understand. Like you're not Spider-Man or anything like that. And after this, he notices something in that alleyway and he goes to check it out and he finds Spider-Man's costume. Why is it there? And that is a whole layer that honestly, if I was to say any more, it would kind of ruin the whole, I would say plot, and the surprises that come later on in the story. So I highly recommend you checking out the fan translations wherever you can find them. Check it out for yourself and let me know what you think of the series. So why did it get canceled? Unfortunately, it got canceled due to the lack of sales. Now, it's not like it didn't sell well, the initial sales of the physical volume were promising, but what really killed it was that the sales stagnated and that they didn't reach the reprint threshold. So pretty much because of that, and in addition to the online version seemingly not having sold any copies at all, it resulted in them axing the series, 
and unfortunately we will not be seeing any more spider-man fake red so i will say that i think that being that we are in a time where popular demand and things that are heavenly spoken about and there's a dire need or there's a there's a very high flame of passion for whatever media that there is out there. I always am a firm believer of as long as there's a demand for it, there's always gonna be a possibility. It might be canceled right now, it might be axed right now, but I think that if people are still going out and supporting the physical release by buying their own copy, checking out this link in the description below that I will actually include where you can see the actual original digital version with ad, don't be having that ad blocker on. So that way they can see that there's still an interest. I think that we could maybe in the future see its return and like I said earlier the story didn't leave us hanging with anything left unanswered and for me personally I didn't even feel like the first arc or plot point was rushed at all normally you can tell when a series is about to end or if it's about to get axed that they kind of like rush and they add a bunch of things that happen you're like wow like how did this happen you just act, you end up asking more questions than normal and usually there's the time skip which is the biggest indicator and i hate that there's there's been a couple of series that i've read this year alone that got axed and shown and jumped that i was just like but i really thought that this was going somewhere like i really wonder why certain series get axed and what the criteria is because if they're going off of the japanese readers alone i think they should reconsider especially since this particular situation is a marvel property that they got the rights to even produce in the first place and why aren't they releasing an english version baffles me i don't understand that at all and it's spider-man like things i will never understand this is one of those series that definitely should be continuing and this whole video should be different i should be talking about how much i thought it was awesome and how you guys should be checking it out and not just saying that and 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 adding that it's now canceled but there is hope i i do i always think that there's a glimmer of hope when i i notice that there is any kind of chance and opportunity and with that i will now practice what i preach so i will say um i spent my time reading spider-man fake red not as it was coming out this only started coming out in august of 2019 and i was very excited but i kept getting caught up with all these other things and I only just literally a few weeks ago on my flight home spent reading the 14 chapters and as soon as I landed and got connection I made the order to show my support and at the time I didn't realize like oh my god like am I am I too late it, will my support even matter and I think even though I was still technically within the time frame of, of them figuring out if they were going to ax it or not I can definitely tell you guys right now it's never too late and here it is. This is the first and only volume of Spider-Man Fake Red that you can actually get on Amazon Japan. There's a bunch of other sources and sites that you can get it from, like Rakuten, you can get it on CD Japan. And I will also, of course, include all the links in the description so that way you guys can check them out for yourself. If you do, for whatever the reason, decide to get it off CD Japan, it does actually support the channel as I am a CD Japan affiliate. So for those that are wondering, like, if I can actually read Japanese, the answer is not yet i've been trying to learn the language a little bit more reading is definitely probably going to be the more challenging part but i will be opening this up just so that i can give you guys a little taste of what the art looks like the art is really well done i think that osawa san is a genius and this was probably like the perfect art style for spider-man being seen in a manga format oh man taking off the plastic dude they freaking webbed the actual like cover like holy crap like it actually has i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell but like there's actual like webbing on like if you see it in the light like there's like a texturized webbing on this it's actually freaking awesome so there's a little ad for the super collab rotation which is actually i, I actually bought that too oh wow so and you know what the crazy part is this actually includes color pages all right so i should also note that this the reason why this is so thick if you can't or you can't tell on 
by just looking at this. It actually includes all 14 chapters in this one volume. Whether this continues or not in the future, just let it be known that the whole first arc Right? I like to call it first start because I'm hopeful that there's going to be more in the future. It's all included in the first volume. Again, if you do go ahead and find the fan translations, you can actually show your support by just buying the freaking volume and boom, you're in there. So I'm going to take the, the casing off for a sec so I can open it and then show you some of the things inside. This is the cover, the binding, the back. Here's all the contents right here. Boom. I'm trying to find like a good picture so I can show you guys like how like that some of the action in this in this manga looks. Oh, here we go. Right at the beginning. Ain't it beautiful? So yeah, guys, unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of this bad news, I guess. But this, unfortunately, ain't going to be continuing, like I said, a million times. But like I said, I've been trying to drive home. The fact is that you guys still can support this because like i said with there being a visual high demand and, and support for something that only just got canceled i still think that if enough people actually show their support and they're at least clicking on the online version you know when your ad blocker is turned off because it does there is like ad revenue i guess from it on their end and if they see that people are actually clicking through it maybe they'll reconsider especially if you're buying the physical releases or the digital releases which you will find links for all in the description and i actually just got confirmation that um i was allowed to mention the translators for the english version since there's not an official translation there's an unofficial version which i will include in the description as well this is literally the best spider-man manga that got canceled and at least with this one this is the best version like i did mention earlier the yukimori version from the 90s that one was a lot weirder in this sense the story that's within in these pages is actually the best and i would say very unique that i have yet to see in any kind of spider-man adaptation so again guys check out fake red check out the work that was done in this story and hopefully you guys enjoy it enough to where you go ahead and support the official releases whether it be digital or physical i'm actually very glad that i got this john physical because now i have another i have another piece of spider-man merch and spider-man japanese merch and that is a perfect spot to go to wrap this video up like share subscribe guys hit me up on twitter um definitely check out my live streams on twitch so you can talk to me about spider-man and all this other crazy fun anime manga related stuff while i'm playing some games lately i've been playing spider-man funny enough and uh, we're almost done with the game so hopefully i can get that done before ghost of tsushima comes out all this, the links in the description so that way you can support this and myself shout out to the sponsor use my code uchi15 so you can take 15 percent off of uh your full order that you decide to get i'm, I'm gonna see if i could get some spider-man stuff on there though please take care of yourselves may the proper tech to keep it locked loaded right here on this channel uh stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time